So here's the deal. Over the past couple of years, I've been on the fence about VR headsets. On the one hand, they look really cool, but on the other hand, the last time I used one, I hated it. All the way back in 2014, I purchased the original Oculus Rift, and it was terrible. The resolution was garbage, it was uncomfortable to wear. Anytime I used it, I got a headache and felt like I was gonna throw up. And ever since then, I haven't really been a fan of VR. That was until this came out, the PlayStation VR 2. This thing has been getting insane reviews from everybody, and I really wanted to try it out for myself, so I went and bought one of these. And today, we're gonna try it out with Gran Turismo 7, some ridiculous cars, and see if this is any good, and see if I like VR racing now. Before that, though, let's unbox the thing. Ooh la la. Look at me. Setup was super quick, took all of five minutes to get it hooked up to the PS5, and I was pretty blown away while setting it up. What the? What? And then I quickly jumped on the circuit to make sure everything was working perfectly, and it was. Right out of the gate, this is one of the coolest things I've ever done. Now that I've got all of my testing out of the way, I put my glove on upside. <laughs> I put my glove on upside down. Honestly, this is like the coolest thing. I feel like I just have to record like this every now and again, just because it's so different. Anyways, before we get too far into this video, I do want to say that this video is sponsored by our friends over at Thrustmaster. So if you do want to check out this racing wheel, this handbrake, or any of the other really cool stuff that Thrustmaster makes, you can check it out. There's a link in the description down below. Let's jump in to Gran Turismo 7. You know what I think the best way of showing off this headset's actually gonna be? Let's hit up the license center right away. You know what we should jump in right away? Let's start things off with this though, a Nissan R34. I've already got gold on it, but it should be one of those missions that will get me up to speed pretty quick. I wanna turn everything off, everything, the driving line. I guess I need the name over cars. Do I need those? No, I don't, I can turn those off too. If I've done this properly, I shouldn't have any any hut at all, that's still so cool, shifting gears and everything like that. All right, yes, yes, there is absolutely nothing on my HUD, so I basically gotta feel out every single corner. Now that I think of it, maybe doing a highway test in this thing wasn't the best idea. Send it out wide, then cut back in, beautiful, keep the hammer down, do not hit that wall, then plant it through there. Beautiful, then I need a bit of brake. Not too much. Slid the rear of the car out. We're doing four wheel drifts everywhere. I don't actually know if this is fast enough. Shift it through. Come on, straight to the line. Is it good enough? New record. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding? That's what I mean. Having a headset might actually make you a better driver. So I've got a bit of a theory and I don't actually know if it's true or not, but let me know if you have the same thing, if you've used a VR headset as well. But you probably noticed throughout pretty much every single racing game that I play, I always, always, always run the racing line. And the reason for that, number one, is I'm a little too lazy to actually learn the proper braking point. But the second reason I use the racing line is because I really struggle to tell the depth of corners, like how far away a corner is, by simply looking at a corner on the screen and being like, yeah, that corner is X many yards away, unless you're looking at like the brake boards on the side of the track, for example. But I think what a VR headset allows you to do is more naturally feel what's coming at you because it's coming at you and going past you and you can turn your head and see what's coming and what's going. And you can feel those corners so much better than you otherwise would. Oh my God, I need to try driving a convertible and stick my head out the roof. Okay, hold on. All right, little MX-5, this is gonna be so... You, you maniac! There's no way, hold the brake, hold the brake, and then Oh, no, it blocks you. Yo, look at the way the seatbelt moves with me. Wait, can I put my head like, oh my God, I was, <laughs> I was about to try to, I was about to try to grab it. Let's go, what gear am I in? 
Uh, now I'm in first. Okay, let's go. I love the gear shift out. Oh, I'm in third. I'm in third now. That's insane. I want to like mess around with the window wiper stocks behind the wheel. Spoiler alert. That's actually the next Thrustmaster product. You're actually going to be able to turn the wipers on and off. I'm literally driving a California coast road in a convertible MX-5. The combination of PSVR2 and having a racing wheel and all of it just feeling so natural is just insane. My head <laughs> I guarantee you could drop like real life race car drivers in here and they would just be able to do so well because not only are you using a steering wheel, but you've got that other sensation of like your visual. And I bet real life racers would just be able to adapt super quickly to it. It's actually insane. Ah! GT350 in a race around the Brazilian Formula One circuit. I don't actually know where my braking points are on this circuit, but I'm gonna try to rely on everything that I was talking about before, about feeling natural and stuff. Round the outside on the Alfa Romeo. That's so cool. Gonna just go this way. I do apologize. It's a bit. <laughs> it was a little bumpy over there. Round you. That's a funny looking little car. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that thing is, but it looks super cool. Watch out for the old timey Ferrari. Why is the BMW parking it on the apex? It was a bit sus. Up the inside, he oh, chops the nose off of my Mustang. I think what I'm realizing is VR has changed a lot in 10 years. The quality is just insane, considering this is a little headset on my face and it's just sitting there and projecting these images directly in. The headset is comfortable to wear. I'm not getting a headache. I don't feel sick. I guess the only downside is because I don't actually have a HUD. I, I assume I'm in first place, but I don't know. The Mustang nearly remembered what it was. We got him, baby. We got him, P1. Thank you very much. I'm pretty sure the last time I drove this car, I discovered that it was incredibly OP. So let's see if it still is here today. Racing around Lamar. Lamar is gonna be sketchy in a car like this because we're gonna get probably 200 and something miles an hour. Look at the Lambo with the little vents up. That's so cool. Oh, I've got no rear window. I don't have a rear window. <laughs> Wait, how does that mirror work then? Uh, 200 kilometers an hour. See you later, Lambo. I know this won't be new for everybody because PSVR 2 has been out for a little while now. VR like headsets as a whole have been out for a little while, but this is brand new to me. I love seeing that rear wing up. That's so cool. Ah! <laughs> It's so cool. It's not only the driving, though, that blows me away. It's all of the other little details that just make, like, everything just come to life. Even the steering wheel in the game. I'm sure they're different sizes, like the real Mercedes wheel and the Thrustmaster wheel that I'm using. I'm sure they're different sizes, but they feel the same. Those hands in the game are my hands. Like, the gloves are my gloves. It's just... Oh, so cool. I've even just noticed the paddles in the game are like the same as the paddles on the Thrustmaster wheel. And you can see my fingers downshifting. Ah, I'm too busy watching my fingers and not the road. I've just realized what car I need to drive. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Ciao, ciao, ciao. What car I need to drive because this is going to be so... Hey, cool. It's been a while since I've done one of these. Hello, four-star roulette ticket. Is my luck any better in VR? Okay, all of those are pretty good. The worst one is the parts. If I get anything else, I've just decided I don't like this game. There is no chance I'm gonna be able to, what the? No, 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 no. <laughs> There's no chance. I'm gonna, I don't know my breaking points. I do apologize. There's no chance I'm gonna be able to do this. I just, I really wanted to try the open wheel car. I'ma just straight up answer the question. Is VR in 2023 any good for racing games? Yes. Yes, it is. This is insane. This makes me want to play every single game in VR because this is just better. If you enjoyed this video and you like what you saw, don't forget to check out my awesome friends over at Thrustmaster who make 
these lovely wheels. Wait, these lovely wheels. You can go and check it out. Link is in the description down below. Thrustmaster, thank you for sponsoring this video. That is PSVR and that's just so cool. <laughs>